Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Hello, everybody. Welcome to today's weight loss, wellness, and support session. I am your friendly neighborhood weight loss coach, Travis Martin. Hello, everybody. Hope everybody's busy as a bee, cheerful as a cricket, steady as a clock, and standing on the rock. Hey, Allison. Hello, everybody. We're going to give you just a minute. We'll get started. Hello. Hey, Chris. How do, how do. Hey, Pam. Cleaning the house while listening to Mr. T. I love it. Hello. Hey, everybody. Welcome. Got Linda on Facebook with a few people in, fa uh, in the Facebook group, on the Facebook page. Uh, Zoom room is filling up, as we hoped. Uh, we've been, been seeing more and more people come to these 11 a.m. sessions, and that's a good thing. So it's good to have everyone. Welcome. No, you did not miss the advanced class. We had some uh, personal situations come up. We will be having it this week. Uh, yesterday, I did a short session, uh, 11 a.m. session, and uh, told partners that I would be rescheduling this week. The advanced class had something that was unavoidable. When it's just uh, our small team and Sasha and I, and we teach every single day, sometimes uh, it's going to appear that I'm, I'm, I'm missing something uh, big, you know, but uh, I teach every single day, and, and two, we have to also, unfortunately, we try not to have much of a personal life outside of Shibola, uh, but we had some personal situations come up yesterday and today that will be dealt with, and then we'll get back on track with our advanced class this week. I don't have anybody to fill in for me when I'm gone. <laughs> I love that, Lisa. I love the attitude. Attitude shall determine altitude. 20 life-stealing pounds of fat gone as of today. Bless the name of the Lord, Lisa. Thank you for sharing. Awesome. Hello, everybody. Welcome. I know. When we spread thin, things like that happen, don't they? Hello. It's good to be spread thin. Busy people make things happen. We get to right attitude. We'll fly higher. Busy people make things happen. Thank you, Sherry. All right, Sierra is only uh, eight tenths of a pound from her 50 pound badge. Outstanding, everybody. All right, we're gonna get started. A uh, little housekeeping. Hey, Gayla. Awesome job. Uh, we're gonna get started with a little housekeeping. Make sure you set, when you chat, set to everyone so that we all can connect. You never know who you're gonna meet here in the class that changes your life forever. Maybe through a uh, quiet inspiration or maybe you make a friend. So make sure that you, that you, you uh, if you will, uh, mark everyone when you chat. If you're a little shy like I used to be, I know how that is, and you don't want your name called in the classroom, then uh, post your question in the Q and A, uh, Q and A section. And I'll try my best to be mindful not to call your name uh, we're going to be on short time again today. Uh, I don't guess that's a bad thing. I like the hour sessions, but the clients tell me they prefer 15 to 30 minute sessions. Anywho, uh, I will need to get out of here today at 1130 uh, due to some personal things that we've got going on, places I have to be. Uh, so 1130 today. So we'll, we'll get right into introductions very quickly so I can answer questions. It's very important that you earn your fast track badge. Uh, that's free to you. Might as well take advantage of that. And we know the folks that earn their fast track badge by watching the fast track videos end up doing a lot better than those that don't. So if you're new here, very important that you earn your fast track badge. You won't get a lot out of these sessions other than maybe a little motivation, meeting some interesting characters. Uh, you won't get a lot from these classes if you haven't earned your fast track badge. You need to understand the philosophies by which our lifestyle operates. Uh, two that are important, faith uh, and food combinations. Faith and food combinations, that's what, that's what got me home. So uh, make sure you earn that fast track badge. Uh, quick recognition, 
We didn't have any partners yesterday. Uh, we're still praying for partners. God puts it on your heart. He, God told me he was going to put it on lots of people's hearts, so I trust him. Uh, so we didn't have any partners yesterday. We need a lot more partners uh, to get this mission and ministry healthy. Uh, so consider becoming a partner. You can go to www.helpshaboleth.com. I want to thank all of our previous partners that signed up. You have no idea what we've got in store for you. We're going to give you thousands and thousands of dollars of value for as little as $5 a month to help us get healthy. So uh, please consider that. We're serious about our mission of saving lives. The daily weight loss for yesterday, uh, we had uh, 100 pounds lost by our members in one day. From those weighing in, the average weight loss per person was 1.3 pounds in that day. Uh, we had 22 badges earned. We had one, two, three, four. We had four 10-pound badge earners. They, they lost their first 10 pounds. Carrie Augusto, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Heather Craig, Victoria Free, Barbara Fusco, congratulations. Had one 50-pound badge earned, Derek Seeley. Congratulations, Derek. That's a huge accomplishment. Goal weight badge, Barbara Haley. Met her ideal weight, her happy weight, her goal. Congratul what, congratulations for uh, earning your badge. Good job, everybody. Joni's with us, our faithful assistant. Joni's with us if anybody needs help today. So we'll get this started. Any questions for me? Any questions about weight loss? What's holding you back? You know, what are, what are the things that we can help you overcome to keep you moving forward? Sometimes it'll be a soft answer. Sometimes it'll be a curt and terse answer. But we want to keep you moving forward. So what's holding you back? Is it the meal ideas? Is it variety? It, it, is it uh, you don't have the support that you're needing from us? What is it that you're struggling with? Leah's thoughts on lemon water with Himalayan salt in the morning first thing. I see no problem with that. It's not going to hurt uh, your, your weight loss efforts. If you're sweating every day, that Himalayan salt will help you uh, replenish your electrolytes. That's a good thing. And, and lemon water can help detoxify the liver, which is responsible for helping us mobilize fat and use it as an energy source. What do we mean fat? Mobilize fat, stored fat, love handle, jiggly, itchy booty, jiggly, itchy, itchy thighs. Yeah, so it, there's no problem drinking lemon water with a pinch of Himalayan salt. It's a freebie, if you will. Always check with your physician. Uh, you know, lemon, acidic, acidic fruits can often inter interfere with certain medications, and I'm not a doctor. You'll need to run that by your doctor if that's going to be something that you take up and do on a consistent basis. But I, there's no problem with it as it relates to losing weight. It's not going to hurt your efforts and it may help your efforts. So have no problem with that. Only time I do that is during my 10-day detox. I don't do that otherwise, only during my 10-day detox. Anybody else, any other questions? I do a 10-day detox three to four times a year, and then that's the first thing I do in the morning. Jelena, question about the AdvoCare vitamins. How bad is it to take the two packs at the same time instead of spreading it out if you forget? Well, it's two different things, so it's not bad. The first pack, you won't get a lot of bang for your buck if you don't take it 15 to 30 minutes before your first meal. So if you take pack one with your eating episode, you're not going to get a lot out of pack one, okay? Because that's your energy. That's your, your uh, some potential help with appetite control. That's your help with uh, ramping up that metabolism before you eat, which is all important. You, if you take pack one with your meal, it's not going to hurt you, but you're not going to get any major benefit from it uh, like you would if you take it on an empty stomach as directed. Now, pack number two is your vitamins, minerals, and fish oils, and you have to take it with, uh, with an eating episode. You need to take it with an eating episode. These are very potent vitamins. And uh, most people will experience nausea if you take pack two on an empty stomach. Let me know if we need to dive deeper on that one. Amen. Amen. Amanda says, nothing should be holding us back with Shibola. Amen. I agree. The Lord has put together a program through people here that uh, literally overcomes every reasonable excuse and objection. Hey, Karen. Hey, Mama. My mama's with her bestie, Karen Klein. Hey, mom. 
Mama. Thank you, Darla. We're still working on it. It's improving every day. So I was just working around the clock to give you all a whole new experience. I wish we could have rolled it out all at one time. So you'd been like, wow. But the way we're having to do it is a little bit every week. So you're not getting that boom. But by the end of the year, it's going to be like a boom. It's uh, She's rewriting everything with our developers. So it's awesome to see her at work and improving things for y'all. Can we get to the long version of Fast Track on the website using our phone? I can't find it, but did find, yeah, yeah. You can get everything on your phone, mobile friendly website. Uh, so uh, Angel, so we don't slow down here today, I'm gonna ask Joni to get with you and see if she can't get you some tech help. Okay, is that fair? Joni, did you see that? Angel's having trouble on finding Fast Track on her phone. <coughs> Sally says, do not take AdvoCare Pack 2 on an empty stomach. She says, take it from me. I agree. Take it from me. Take it from Sally. Or you're in for about an hour ride of nausea. If you take it with a pretty decent size eating episode, no problem at all. Why do we get the nausea? Because you're taking a vitamin that does what it's supposed to do. It, it, it's, you're getting all those plant alkaloids that are absorbable. That's a great product. And you're going to feel it. So you want to make sure you take those with an eating episode. Good to have you back, Peggy. All right, Karen, going to the Shibby Shop. I know they'll love seeing you. Give them a hug for us. Aaliyah, what if you already that uh, already that vitamin and different herbs every day? Is that okay with what we do? Yeah, yeah. You just need to run that by your doctor. I don't talk about every vitamin because. Back in the day when I talked about every vitamin that anybody wanted me to talk about, I kept running into trouble. Uh, and What do you mean running into trouble? People taking stuff and then saying that I approved of it and it made them sick or whatever. So I just tell everybody now, you're on your own. If it doesn't have any calories, uh, that, that's what I care about. Now, if you're asking me what are the safest, most effective supplement brands and, and supplements, and I'm gonna to stick to my tried and true. Uh, that being AdvoCare, Thorn, Beverly, Onnit, now I'm sticking to those, but that doesn't mean you can't do your own. Uh, Joni's asking for Angel. Let me go back and find, she's having trouble with the phone. Angel McCowan, it's, it's, it's our Angel, Angel McCowan. Tabitha, I ate two grilled cheese and two Hebrew national fat-free beef franks with bell peppers yesterday and lost two pounds. Why did she eat all that and lose weight? Because she stayed in a calorie deficit and she controlled insulin. That is the key. Controlling that fat bus, fat storage hormone insulin. If she had regular bread and a regular frank and regular cheese, she would have gained weight. She lost two pounds. She's, Shibola approved ingredients combined the right way, control the fat storage growth hormone insulin. Good job. If you missed the AdvoCare with morning eating episode, how late would you take it so it doesn't affect your sleep? Pack one, I would never take after 4 p.m. Pack two doesn't matter. Pack two is vitamins and minerals. Take it with, your, with, with an eating episode during the day. In fact, take it as direct. <laughs> so on the label it says exactly how to take it. that's how we want to take it so the pack one I always meant to take earlier in the day when you need the energy not at night pack number two with any eating episode preferably your dinner what are some ways to use uh thorn fiber men power powder uh, i mix it with health wise hot chocolate and cocoa ringa uh, to get my fiber in, it mixes very easily. I mix it in with Spark, uh, mixes very easily, helps promote regularity, helps you get in some prebiotics and probiotics uh, that help with your immune system. So those are the ways that I use it. It's so easily absorbable and non taste it doesn't have a taste, doesn't have a flavor profile. So you might wanna increase your liquid in Spark or in your health-wise hot chocolate because it is fibrous and that'll thicken it some 
So you might want to use a little more liquid depending on your taste profile that you like. But thorn fiber man, not a problem. Mix it with anything you want to mix it with. Uh, one time a day is plenty. One time a day is plenty. But that's what I do. I mix it with my spark. Actually, I do a, a concoction. Uh, I use some happy, I, I mix me a happy juice. Don't ask me when I'm rolling that out. That's up to Sasha. Uh, she's going to hear that and say, well, she's still waiting on videos for me, but I'm waiting on something from her. <laughs> so we're, we're going to get to happy juice, but I, I also mix in uh, the, the thorn fiber men with my happy juice, spark, health wise hot chocolate, things like that. Get in my uh, extra fiber for the day. Awesome stuff. I've already asked on a page, but I'm curious if homemade bone broth would break a fast. It will. It's full of protein. So uh, homemade bone broth will definitely break your fast. So if you're trying to fast, if you're in a fasting window and not an eating window, you do not want to consume bone broth. That will diminish the benefits of autophagy if that's your reason for doing it. So if that's not your reason, one of the ways I use it is like a modified fast. So if I'm doing a one meal a day, let's say, for example, today I chose to only have dinner uh, during my day. If I feel a little weak, then I will drink bone broth. It does technically break my fast, but it's a modified fast because it's pre-digested. I would not mark it in intermittent fasting day, but uh, bone broth uh, is it, pre-digested, so it's not going to diminish the uh, effects of autophagy as much. Hope that helps. What is normal pooping for two eating episodes a day? Not sure I understand the question. Uh, if you're eating two eating episodes a day, ideally we want to poop once a day. Once a day is what we want to do ideally, right? But that's not constipation. Constipation is defined as not having a bowel movement at least once in three days. So when you alter your lifestyle and you're eating less, your body's using more of what you consume if you're not eating junk. So your bowel movements, if you were used to going every day, you may see that disrupted some in the beginning until your body reaches that level of acceptance and homeostasis again. Uh, I don't like to, uh, to tell people that they should poop every day. Every pooping is, uh, the beauty of pooping is in the individual, okay? So everybody's different. Uh, we should not be pooping, uh, we should not expect pooping after every meal only babies do that and we are adults here so uh if you go through the prof proper pro protocol you'll get regular again you're eating whole foods you're eating fibrous carbohydrate and hopefully you'll start moving psp is how you get regular bowel movements pee sweat poop drink your water move a lot of people stay constipated no matter what they eat because they won't move they won't get up and move you need to move. Get you a rebounder, a rebounder, jumping up and down on a rebounder. That will help get the poo moving, uh, but you're eating right. So now we just need to move and make sure we stay properly hydrated and it'll happen. Uh, you can look at Hemp Hearts Hemp Flakes. You can look at Thorn Fiber Men. You can look at a package of uh, AdvoCare Fiber Packet once a day until you get regular again. Those are things that will help. Those are things that you can do that will help the poo. What's your poo telling you? That's got to be in the top 10 questions every week. What's your poo telling you? I hope that you can get it. I hope you can get to pooping again. Anybody else? Poop, poop, poop. I am the king of poop. I've seen more pictures of people's duty than I ever want to see. I used to feel so disrespected. I'd get pictures of poop. <sighs> Would you send Dave Ramsey pictures of poop? It's okay though. It's okay. I'm a foot washing Baptist. I'm, I, I know how to get humble and, and be full of humility. If you want to send me poop pictures, I guess you can send them to me and I'll look at the sturdiness of your stool. It's a little above my pay grade. Anybody else? I am the Rodney Dangerfield of Weight Loss Wellness and Nutrition. Thank you, Lisa. Anybody else? My daughter's listening with me and dying over this poop conversation. It's always good fun for the children. Uh, if anything, the Lord uses the poop conversations to bring the children in. What is it, baby? I have 
have to get on to you for a second. What I do wrong? Because I have to. You change your mindset, Mister. What? Because I'm, you're, I'm a ghost. You're fading. I know. Let's stop. I'm just that. gonna sit right here because she's getting I, on to me yes, about something. Because I just think that that we. Me included. She's like, no more food because, pictures. That's what she come back no, here no, to no. say. No more no, food no, pictures. No, no, no. Actually, look, have we not had that conversation before? Like me to you, I respect your opinion. I just think that you have so much knowledge, and but my heart's racing because I'm like, no, but you don't understand. It's not, it's not a um, a slight on you at all. It is like he knows what he's talking about because you've done all this research. Like you know stuff that we just don't know. It's not common sense to us. So. I have asked you that very question, so do you get onto me too? But I'm telling you, I have to not, look at my wife's no, poop. No, no, we talk about it. We don't look, look at, at my it. poop. No, we but, but look I'm at just, my poop. -poo. I'm just saying that it's. I'm a, like, we were going to have a romantic date night, and you want me to look at the screen no, no, of looking, your stool? No looking. I'm just telling you that I don't. That I just think that with everything that you've got that you know about, I think that it's a. A lot of us don't really have the. We trust you more than our doctors sometimes. Don't some do of this that. stuff. Don't I mean, as far that. as just like general, like common sense kind of guidance, because I think we all are so all right. tempted to want to get a pill or a potion. She loves or something. the poop conversation. No, I don't. I'm just saying you don't know Ron, Rodney Dangerfield of anything. <laughs> I just want you to look at like you know don't I'm don't send, don't anybody it. send them now. I'm just saying look at it differently. She's just ha she's it's just having important. fun out of me. I'm thank you. I am not I, important. Oh. Jesus is important. <laughs> that is true, but you are. Lisa you are. says you're beautiful. Well, thank you. Well, yes, Lisa. because you've never seen her poop. Uh, you, you haven't either. <laughs> the rule for poop is it floating. <laughs> That's a good thing. <laughs> uh, anybody else? Just having some fun at my own. Uh, well, you, she don't like it when she thinks I'm putting myself down. And a lot of times I'm just having fun at my own expense. So people will have fun at their own expense. How many of, how many of you agree? The world is full of people who take themselves too seriously. I agree with that. They think they're the Mac daddy. I don't think I'm the Mac daddy. I think I'm a poop inspector. That's what I'll put on my, Profile, not founder of Shibboleth Poop, certified poop, certified Shibboleth poop instructor, analyzer. She's always, she's my, you know, I, I tell y'all to think right. She's always telling me to think right. Everybody's got to have a coach. My wife's my coach. And besides, if I don't listen to her, she won't cook me any of that great spaghetti that she makes. There you go, Charles, crapologist. Any other questions? We got time for a couple of more before I have to go today. I got I to gotta go at 11.30 today. I'll try not to make a habit out of it, but I got to go at 11.30 today due to something personal I have to go and handle that requires driving. Yes, I'm very familiar with the poop chart. Uh, Rose says there is a chart for poop, examples of different kinds, and the reasons why the poop looks the way it does. Yes, very life-saving information, actually. All silliness aside, uh, it's life-saving information. We have a class, What's Your Poo Telling You? And uh, we always get mixed, um, mixed uh, reviews. Um, from that class, but it's really a life-saving class. You can really tell about what's going on inside your body uh, by your by your stool appearance and color. Life-saving information, actually, all kidding aside. There's only one way to talk about poop, and that's in a fun way. If you, it'd be, I guess it would be funny to talk about poop very seriously, <laughs> but it is a serious subject. Any other questions? Got time for a couple of more. I hope y'all having fun, enjoying the class, seeing the dynamics between me and my coach and boss in there. <laughs> I just don't know that I can handle today any poop pictures. At least give me a couple of days before I get a text of a turd. <laughs> uh.
Yeah. I've looked at more turds than any crapologist in the U.S. Anybody else? <laughs> we do have Top Gun tomorrow. I'll be sending out a text if anybody wants to. Anybody doing Top Gun 2? Anybody doing Top Gun 2 here thinking about doing Top Gun 2? It's going to be a good one. It's going to be different than the last one. Probably even better results. It's going to be a little harder. Gayla, I'm not uh, sunburned today. Uh, I have a very ruddy complexion. Like, I, it was a King David. Hey, I like King David. I have a very ruddy complexion, and nobody realizes how nervous I get in these. Everybody thinks I'm this. Uh, if you ever meet me in person, you're going to be quite disappointed because I'm quiet. Only my mom knows this to be true. She's here. I'm quiet and I'm shy. So anytime I'm before you all and wanting to help you all, uh, lots of times I will turn red, especially when I'm getting scolded by my wife. Uh, I'm easily embarrassed. So, uh, no, I'm not sunburned today, but thank you for being uh, wanting me to probably want wear some sunblock. Can we get the name and picture like the other did? Can we get the name and picture? I'm, I'm not sure. Can you expound on that? I'm not getting it. Angel, if I need to get multivitamin at the vitamin shop, do I look for a whole food one? Uh, just ask, just ask to, if you'd rather shop with uh, the vitamin world or the GNC, just ask them what, what their best quality brand is. Yeah, that's what I would do if you prefer to get it elsewhere. Uh, Top Gun, uh, the, the start date, we're doing it a little differently. The start date is next Thursday. We'll be doing the orientation tomorrow, and then you'll have a week to get prepared, and it will start on a Thursday. You will be allowed uh, a couple of hollow meals, so uh, it's no big deal that it's starting toward the end of a week. That's just when we need to fit it in. Orientation tomorrow, don't have my calendar in front of me, but tomorrow, and then it will start next Thursday. That will be day one. Yes, Stephanie, there will be two hollow meals allowed. Oh yeah, you'll be able to uh, change your profile name. Uh, you'll be able to pick you out a call sign. They call that a call sign. I get you, darling. I should have picked up on what you meant. Yeah, you'll get to pick out a call sign. Yeah, and you can do your picture and humble yourself like a little child like we do and have some fun with it. And the Top Gun movie's coming out this week, I believe. I think it'll be streaming this week. So we can all have a movie night if y'all want to. See, this week or next week, wouldn't that be fun to kind of hook up through technology? And uh, those of you that don't mind PG-13 movies, I, I, we've got a lot of people that last time I said something about a, a movie that had some cussing in it, I got email after email about that. Uh, I, I'm not trying to be anybody's pastor. I'm trying to be a real person. And I love Top Gun. So uh, it's coming out this, uh, this Thursday. Uh, and um, I think maybe next there'd be nice to hook up one night. Those that aren't offended by PG-13 type movies uh, hook up and all of us watch it at the same time. I think that would be fun. A little motivation. All right, y'all. I am out of time. Thank you, Peggy. All right. I hate if I missed anybody, missed anything. I am so sorry. I hate that I've got to cut it off at abruptly, but I have to hit the road. Thank y'all for being our family members, for showing us grace, for showing us love and patience. I hope you'll consider becoming a partner. Lord, we need you so much. So just pray about it. Uh, we'd love to have you as a partner and, and we'll give you, we promise you, if you're disappointed with the partner perks by the end of the year, we'll give you your offering back. All right, we'll put it in escrow. If you say, hey, hold this in escrow, I wanna make sure that, uh, that, that I like these partner perks before you cash my money in. We'll do it. 
We're going to give more than we receive with the Lord as our helper. So just, just think about that. www.helpshabola.com. I love y'all. I'm sorry I talked so fast today, so loud, but I had to fit a lot in. I got to go. God bless y'all.